What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to graph inequalities on a number line and how to write your answers in interval notation. All right, so let's start with this first example on the left, top left. So it says graph X is greater than three. Okay, so something really key or important to point out right now is whenever you see a greater than symbol or a less than symbol, whenever you're graphing these, you're going to use an open circle, okay? Now, on the other hand, whenever you see something like greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, okay, whenever there's that equal to thing attached at the bottom of it, you're going to use a closed circle or a filled in circle, okay? So going back to this one, it says graph X is greater than three, right? Or X is bigger than three. Okay, well, if we're gonna graph this on the number line, we're going to use an open circle at the number three right here, okay? And since X is greater than three, we're just gonna draw our line going in this direction, right? Because in this direction, all the numbers are greater than three, right? And if you notice something, this direction is headed in the positive infinity direction. Okay, now let's write our answer in interval notation. So the thing I wanna point out about interval notation is your answers, it's basically just trying to figure out if you're gonna use like parentheses or a bracket in a parenthesis or a parenthesis in a bracket or you, maybe two brackets. Okay, all your answers are gonna look something like this. Now, whenever you have just a greater than symbol or just a less than symbol, you're always going to use a parenthesis next to your number right here. Okay, or another way you could think about it is whenever you use an open circle like this, you're going to use a parenthesis next to your number. Okay, so if I wanted to write my answer in interval notation, again, it's an open circle, so I'm gonna use a parenthesis next to my number right here, three. Okay, and remember, our x values go all the way from three to positive infinity. So I'm gonna write it as comma positive infinity. Okay, and now do I put a parenthesis or a bracket next to this infinity symbol? Well, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative infinity. If you ever have infinity right there, you always use a parenthesis. Okay, so then this would be your answer in interval notation. Okay, so it'd be parenthesis, three comma positive infinity, or just infinity, and then close the parenthesis. Okay, so let's try another example right here. So now this one says graph x is less than three. Okay, well again, this is just a greater than or less than sign. So again, I'm gonna use an open circle at this number, right, three. And now again, we wanna graph all the numbers that are smaller than three. So all the numbers that are smaller than three are in this direction, right? So I'm just gonna kinda of draw my line and arrow to the left, okay? And this is headed in the negative infinity direction. Okay, so now let's write our answer in interval notation. So first I'm gonna write my infinity sign right here, so negative infinity, comma, and then three, okay? Because that's where we land right here, right, three. Now again, whenever there's an infinity sign, you always put a parenthesis around that. And then here, since we have an open circle, we put a parenthesis around that one also, okay? And uh, one last thing I wanna point out is whenever you're writing your answers, let's go back to the first one real quick. When you're writing your answers in, in interval notation, you basically just write your answer down in the same order that you graphed it. So since the three is on the left and the infinity sign is on the right, that's what I did here. I put the three on the left and the infinity sign on the right, okay? Same thing here. Since the negative infinity sign is on the left, I put it on the left. And since my three right here is on the right, I put it on the right. All right, now let's go to this next example down here on the left. So this one says graph X is greater than or equal to three. Okay, so since there's the equal to symbol right here, that means I'm gonna use a closed circle, okay? So at three, right? So we're gonna use a closed circle at three. Okay, and then are we gonna draw our line to the left or to the right? Well, it says right here that X is bigger than three, right? So all the numbers that are bigger than three are in this direction, right? Towards positive infinity. Okay, now if I'm gonna write my answer in interval notation, well, again, let's write our numbers out real quick. Okay, so the three is on the left 
and then the positive infinity is on the right. Okay, and again, whenever you see a, an infinity sign, there's always a parenthesis next to the infinity sign. And then this three, since we're using a closed circle, that means we're going to have a bracket, okay? Whenever you have a closed circle, or again, the other way you could think about it is whenever you have an or equal to symbol right here, you know that's a hint, that's a giveaway that you're going to use a bracket, okay? So then this would be your answer right here. All right, now let's go to the next one right here. So this one says graph X is less than or equal to three, okay? Well, again, we have our equal to symbol right here, so I know I'm gonna use a closed circle, right? At three right here. Okay, and then again, am I gonna shade to the left or the right? Well, here it says X is smaller than three, right? So all the numbers that are smaller than three are in this direction towards negative infinity. Okay, so again, if I'm gonna write my answer in interval notation, this number's on the left, the negative infinity, and then my three right here is on the right, so I'm gonna put it on the right, and then I'm gonna put my parentheses around the negative infinity, and then this three, since it has a closed circle, or it has the equal to symbol, again, that means I'm gonna use a bracket. Okay, so then this would be my answer in interval notation. Okay, so, Hopefully you're starting to see the pattern. Now let's try it with some negative numbers. Okay, so let's start with this example right here. It says graph X is greater than negative four. Okay, so here I have just a greater than symbol. So again, that means I'm gonna use an open circle and I'm gonna draw it at negative four, okay? So an open circle at negative four, okay? And here it says X is bigger than negative four, so all the numbers that are bigger than negative four are in this direction right here, right, towards positive infinity, okay? So if I'm gonna write my answer in interval notation, well, this number, negative four, is on the left, right? And then we have positive infinity, or just infinity, on the right, and parentheses always go next to the infinity symbol. And here, since we have an open circle, at negative four, that means we're gonna have a parentheses right there also, okay? So then this would be your answer in interval notation. And then we'll do this last kind of easy-ish one. So here it says graph X is less than or equal to negative four. Okay, so I see the equal to sign. So immediately I know I'm gonna use a closed circle at this number right here, negative four. And then we're uh, in order to graph it, here it says x is smaller than negative 4. So the numbers smaller than negative 4 are in this direction towards negative infinity. So again, if I'm going to write my answer in interval notation, writing down our numbers first, this number's on the left, right, negative infinity. And then this number's on the right, negative 4. So a parenthesis always goes around my negative sign. And then here, since we used a closed circle, we're going to use a bracket. Okay, so then this would be your answer in interval notation. Okay, so with all these problems, we've been graphing X with just one number. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with two numbers. All right, so this problem right here says graph two is greater than X is greater than five. Okay, so this is obviously kind of confusing at first, but one way to kind of simplify it is by breaking it up into two different inequalities, okay? So you can break it up into this inequality. So two is greater than X, and you can also break it up into this inequality right here. X is greater than five, okay? So now you can just kind of graph these individually. Okay, so first of all, let's graph this one. Two is greater than X. Well, first of all, I see that this is just a greater than symbol, right? There's no equal to thing attached to the bottom. So that means this is an open circle at two. So I'm gonna to go to two and draw an open circle right here. Okay, so we graphed this one. Now let's graph the other one. So this one says X is greater than five. Well, again, there's no equal to thing attached to it. So that means this is also an open circle and it's gonna be at five. Okay, so let's draw an open circle right there. Okay, so now let's shade in our lines. So going back to the first one right here, X is smaller or it's less than two. Okay, well, all the numbers are smaller than two in this direction, 
right, towards negative infinity. Okay, now if I wanted to write this part of my graph in interval notation, I could do that, right? So this negative infinity symbol would be on the left, negative infinity, and it goes to two right here, right? Okay, now we always put a parenthesis around the infinity symbol, and this two right here is an open circle, so we're also, so we're also gonna use a parenthesis around the two. Okay, now let's graph the five right here. So here it says x is greater than five, or x is bigger than five. Well, all the numbers are bigger than five in this direction, right? Towards positive infinity, okay? So if I wanted to graph this part right here, I could do that too. So I would have five, right? That's on the left side. And then it goes to positive infinity, right? Positive infinity. Now there's also a parenthesis right here around this infinity. And this five also has an open circle, so we will put parentheses around this five. Okay, now, whenever you have a graph like this, where, there, where it has two different graphs, okay, so we have this graph right here to, that goes to the left, and then there's like a gap right here where there's nothing, and then we have this other graph right here that starts at five and goes all the way to the right, okay? So whenever it's broken like this and there's an empty space, the way you kind of fill that in is by putting a U between both of your parentheses right here, okay? And the U basically is just, stands for union. It's a union sign, okay? And this union sign basically means or, okay? So you could read this as negative infinity to two or five to positive infinity. Okay, now let's do this last example. Graph negative two is less than x is less than or equal to five. Okay, so... Again, I'm gonna split this up into two smaller inequalities. So this one's first, so negative two is less than x, and then I'm gonna do this one also, right? So x is less than or equal to five, okay? So again, starting with this one, x is greater than negative two, okay? So there's no equal to symbol attached to this one, so that means this is gonna be an open circle, right, at negative two. So we're gonna have an open circle right there. And then here we're gonna have x is less than or equal to five. So we have the equal to symbol right here. So this is gonna be a closed circle at five. Okay, now if we graph these in, uh, starting with this one, this one says x is greater than, right? It's bigger than negative two. Well, all the numbers that are bigger than negative two are in this direction. Right? But as you can see, we hit our other circle again, which makes sense because if we were gonna graph this one, this one says x is less than or equal to five, right? So x is smaller than five and all the numbers that are smaller than five are in this direction. But as you can see, then we hit our other circle. So again, we're stuck between our two circles right here, right? We don't go to negative or positive infinity. Okay, so if you're gonna write your answer in interval notation, well, we would have negative two on the left, right? Negative two, and it goes all the way to five right here, right, on the right. Okay, now negative two is an open circle, so that means there's a parenthesis right there, and here five is a closed circle, so that one would have a bracket, okay? So then this would be your answer in interval notation. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.